vision Posted October 25, 2017 101,857 An American security agency says at least 5,600 people from 33 countries around the world, including Australia, have returned home after spending time in territories controlled by the Islamic State in Syria and Iraq. Key points The report says it is unknown whether the fighters will recreate what they lost. Many foreign fighters have already joined other groups in the Philippines and Egypt. If all 165 Australians had joined his report says many were women and children. The Sufan group said in a report titled Beyond the Caliphate Foreign Fighters and the Threat of Returnees, released overnight that the potential return of unknown numbers of foreign fighters represents a huge challenge for law enforcement agencies. The New York-based group, which closely follows militant factions, said is remains to be seen what the displaced fighters will do once returned and whether or not they will stage homegrown attacks. To what extent the dispersed veterans of the war in Iraq and Syria will wish to regroup, research, recruit and recreate what they have lost, is as yet unknown, the report said. It said more than 40,000 foreigners flocked to join us from more than 110 countries both before and after the extremists declared a caliphate in June 2014. It said they included more than 8,700 from the former Soviet Union, 5,718 from Western Europe, 439 from North America, and more than 165 from Australia. Of the Australians listed in the report, some 100 are believed to be still there while at least 40 have returned, at least 95 are believed to be women and children. Thousands of his fighters have been killed on the battlefield as Syrian and Iraqi forces have retaken nearly all the territory once held by the group, and many of those returning could be disenchanted with extremism. But the Sufan group says it is inevitable that some will want to continue waging violent jihad. Last month, one of Australia's most infamous members of the Islamic State group Neil Prakash admitted to a Turkish court of being responsible for his activity in Australia. Prakash has been accused by the federal government of links to attack plans in Australia and appeared in his propaganda urging terror attacks in Australia. Meanwhile, the Sufan report said some his fighters had already gone on to join militant groups in the Philippines, Egypt, Sinai Peninsula, Afghanistan, and Libya. APABC Topics Terrorism, World Politics, Syrian Arab Republic, Iraq